Hey everybody, so uh, just finished power washing the steers. It's getting a little dark now. I hope you can see me okay, but um, you know, exactly what I expected. It cleaned up pretty good. Um, it does have the patina, as I mentioned, but there's no real rust or rot that uh, is a concern that'll clean up, sand off, and, uh, and paint really well. Um, I just can't get over someone who was gonna let a scrapper go crush this thing. So save from the scrapper. Um, I would have paid, I would have bought this, I would have paid for this, but anyway, um, recently came across, across this uh, seat, which I had also picked up. Um, same thing, patina, surface rust, but solid, and uh, I think this is going to look great on this tractor. I have a bunch of leather seats and all that, but being that it's an older machine, um, I think it will look good on it, so I'm going to throw this on there at some point and uh, give you an idea of what it might look like. So, I actually haven't even looked up to see what kind of seat came on these tractors. I don't know whether it was a pan seat or a, a leather seat, but I think like my old 72 Suburban over there, which has the leather seat, I think they probably had one of those on here too, but I think this, uh, this looks good. It fits. Um, that's probably the way I'm going to go. I think it looks tough. So, once again, no idea what color yet. I have some ideas, but um, nothing set in stone, so that's yet to be determined. But um, definitely got to pull this engine right out. Got a buyer for that and put my Honda GX390 in here. Um, lock the rear end, paint it up nice, and we'll go from there. I, def I got a pair of ATV tires, be 25 by 10 by 12s, uh, that'll probably go on the rear of this. And the fenders are in real nice shape. There's no dents, no rot, nothing. They're solid. Um, everything is solid. It's just, just overall a great, great tractor. I mean, it's probably in as good a shape, if not better shape, than the Sears that I recently picked up for just 50 bucks. That I've, I've got my little uh, uh, trailer train going on over here. Tomorrow's the Fourth of July party, and we're gonna have a lot of kids. So, gonna be pulling the kids for a little hay ride in the uh, in the Sears with the trailers, and I'll be posting a video of that as well. Um, I've got some seats I was going to bolt down in one of these trailers, but I think for now, because I didn't get to it and kind of short on time, I'll just throw some hay in each of the three trailers. And I've already test driven this uh, several times since I linked the trailers together. I had to build, had to build some uh, supports on the back here, just use some conduit, um, cut it to length, put the ends in a vise, flatten them, drill holes, put some supports, extended the trailer arms with some steel, actually stainless steel. Uh, on these two so that we could connect all three together and uh, it really works well I mean you can turn some really tight corners and the trailers just follow the path of the tractor perfectly uh, I'm really surprised at how small of a space you can actually turn this thing all around in but uh, tomorrow we'll get some video of the kids in the in the uh, in the trailers riding the, the tractor and then um, after that video you'll start seeing me post some videos of uh, updates on this uh, Sears ST10 that I'm going to be working on. Since this is a running driving tractor that I recently got for 50 bucks, of course I'm going to clean it all up and make it nice and look pretty and whatever, but right now it's perfectly functional. So I haven't done anything to it. kind of like it just the way it is and I'm going to continue to drive it like that, but that gives me an opportunity to have a driver while I work on the ST10 and make that something really cool. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have seen any of my other videos, but I have a lot of tractors actually. I do collect them and uh, I even have, you know, MTD and Craftsman's. You probably can see a couple of, there's an MTD and a Craftsman right there, as a matter of fact. I've got some wheel horse and things like that. Um, and, uh, you know, they, I've got plans for most of them. Some of them are for parts. Some of them I might end up selling if they're too good, at, you know, to, to uh, take apart because they have mowing decks and things. But um, I'm not really someone that runs around, you know, fixing tractors and selling them for, for profit. I usually just pick them up if someone's giving them away or, if they're cheap and I know that there's good parts on it, good engines or whatever, so that I can keep the best of everything and maybe trade for some parts or sell a few parts here and there. Um, so that makes it a cheap hobby. Um, but I love it and uh, I am really excited about this Sears. So try to follow the videos and uh, when we have it underway, we'll, uh, we'll update you and hopefully someday before the end of the summer, um, we'll have this thing all prettied up with a nice Honda motor and running and driving and and uh, ready to go. So, till next time.
you later.